morning and welcome to Titan TV. I'm Jordan Goddard. Today is Thursday the 27th and I'm Monica Hayes and now for today's announcements. Wait a minute. What? I'm Monica Hayes. Oh, I'm Jordan Goddard. Sorry, oh. my bad. All students who park on campus are required to have a parking decal. Information is available on our school website, uhstitans.com, under the Campus Life tab or in the Activities office. Students need to fill out the parking form along with a parent signature and bring it to the Activities office before school, during lunch, or after school. Students must bring proof of insurance, registration, and license to verify information. For the second semester only, parking is $25. Our yearbook sale price increases at the end of January, and this is the last opportunity. And this is the last opportunity to order a guaranteed book. While we do order some extra books, we cannot guarantee one. You may stop at the activities office before school, during lunch, or after school to purchase a book, or do it on our website at uhstitans.com. We accept cash, check, or credit cards. UHS Press is recruiting next year for yearbook and new staff. For those of you who are new to EHS, our yearbook has won national awards for years and ranks in the top books in the country. We are taking applications from current 9th to 11th graders. Please see Mrs. Hanks in room 4 to 12 for more information. Seniors, make sure to order your cap and gown. Graduation is approaching. To order, visit at herforlando.com. The SGA Senior Council meeting is February 8th during the first half of lunch and 1C309. The Freshman SGA Council meeting is at February 9th, the first half of lunch, in 1C309. Volleyball Powder Puff Interest meeting is on February 10th, during the first half of lunch, in 1A100. The Lady Weightlifters will travel to Flagler this weekend to compete in the Regional Weightlifting Meet. Lifting begins at 9 a.m. Congratulations to the Lady Titan basketball team over their win over Lyman last night. Titans improved 11-11 to -11 on the season. If you missed the game, check out Titan TV broadcasts of the game. Go to YouTube and look up Titan TV. The Lady Titans will be home this Friday for senior night. Tip-off is at 6 p.m. The boys' soccer team will host Lyman tonight for the first round of the district playoffs. The game will start at 6 p.m. and tickets can be purchased online at GoFan.com. And now over to Dom, the birthday boy with the weather. Well, thank you guys. That is really sweet. I hope you guys have a great day as well. But we're watching the potential for the coldest air in nearly half a decade. That would be a hard freeze for most of Central Florida. This is Saturday night into early Sunday morning. We're going to be watching that widespread frost and freeze potential, not just below freezing, but well below freezing for an extended period of time. But for now, enjoy the milder air. It's great out there. Good morning and happy Thursday to you, Orlando. We're seeing mostly clear skies. Skies will become clearer throughout the day as that upper level disturbance does gradually start to work off our coast. There it is. You can see the lingering cloud cover behind it. Skies do gradually clear. So enjoy the sunshine as we head into the evening hours. Right now it is 64 in Orlando, 63 in Kissimmee, low to mid 50s for the I-75 corridor here locally in Volusia County. Still holding on to the upper 50s in Pearson. It's 61 in Ormond Beach, 64 in Daytona Beach. So today, sunny, seasonable. We do clear out the skies throughout the day as we warm up right around 70 degrees. A great afternoon, a great birthday day for me, so to speak. Let's look at future cast and time out just a few spritz of rain through the afternoon. You can see five, six o'clock can't roll out some isolated showers in our southwestern zones as that low pulls offshore. Other than that, I think we're going to be running nice and dry. So the beach starts off with a few showers early, clearing the skies, temperatures in the upper 60s. So grab that light jacket if you are headed out to the beach. Big story is this big Arctic blast of Canadian air headed our way. You can see the origin of this just brutal cold. There it is on Thursday. It dives down through the central plains and Midwest by Friday, Saturday night and Sunday. It's knocking on our door with a potential for a hard freeze. We're thinking 20s, widespread 20s, even some upper teens possible in our northwestern location. So it's going to be brutally cold, frigid, the coldest air in nearly half a decade. Bring in the potted plants, cover the pipes, check on the pets. You know the drill or do we know the drill because we live in Florida? I'm not sure, but some of these records are going to be rivaling four year old records. It's just going to be dangerously cold. Stay inside Saturday night and Sunday morning. Here's your seven day forecast upper 60s for your Friday. We're going to be frigid through the weekend. The coldest temperatures in nearly five years. Then the sunshine pours in by midweek as temperatures return to more seasonable averages. Jordan and Annika. That's all the news we have for you today. Thanks for watching. And remember, it's all about the U-H-S. Happy birthday, Dom. Happy birthday, Dom.